This is a very short video in which we're going to try to see how um, you take some of the chemistry that you're familiar with, that you'll learn about, and how it's used in the chemical engineering context, and just to try and familiarise you with the relationship between chemistry and chemical engineering. During your A-level studies or equivalent, you have no doubt come across the concept of pH, which enables us to establish a value for hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions and subsequently test acidity or alkalinity of a solution and also determine concentrations of these solutions by knowing one and perhaps not the other. In relation to the pilot plant, um, you will need to think about where you might insert pH probes um, to test for pH to also determine concentration as well. So in terms of the pH probes and the experiment that we've just seen, um, what you need to think about as a chemical engineer is where in a system you would need to measure pH, um, how would you kind of optimise a system um, in relation to, to knowing where those pH probes um, will fit within that. Here we are in the state-of-the-art carbon capture pilot plant at Imperial College London. This four-storey plant is a scaled-down version of a chemical engineering plant and the only one of its kind in the capital. You are no doubt familiar with what's going on and the environmental damage that's caused by CO2 emissions um, polluting the atmosphere. The job of the chemical engineer is then to think about how is it that we fix this problem. So the solution that we have come across is to actually store the CO2. Um, but one of the things that you will do is brainstorm lots of different ideas, think about cost effectiveness, optimization, think about the least environmental damage you can do in order to fix this particular problem. The pilot plant is based on the chemistry of CO2 emissions and has been engineered to mitigate the environmental impact by storing the CO2. The work of the chemical engineer is to use your understanding of chemistry and fundamental aspects of fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, to create, design and develop processes that fulfil an important service, for example, reduce carbon emissions. The reaction itself takes place in this reactor. Two reactions are effectively occurring. CO2 is reacted with MEA to form the carbamide organic compound derived from carbamic acid of MeaCO2. CO2 hydration is actually the main reaction here. As a chemical engineer, you are expected to understand the bigger picture, that mass transfer, heat transfer, are coupled with kinetics and you are expected to consider optimization and process issues. Okay, so hopefully this video has given you some idea of the relationship between chemistry and chemical engineering. Um, as a chemical engineer, you would take your chemistry knowledge, your thermodynamics knowledge, uh, fluid mechanics, maths, um, and put all these things together to try and understand the bigger picture um, and that's what the job of a chemical engineer actually is.